Hello and welcome to another episode of Weekly Album Review, the show in which I talk to you about a few albums I've listened to this week. And first up, here's one from Derek Lind. This is called Stations. And uh, I've actually seen um, Derek perform a couple of times. And uh, this one's acoustic, mainly, mainly acoustic, um, very kind of laid back. And uh, there's a New Zealand artist. And um, yep, yeah, that's good. This is from 1994, I think, around 1994, yep. Yeah. And uh, that's a good one. Um, Next up after that was Dave Brubeck, Brubeck and Rushing. Now this one um, was uh, a Dave Brubeck album, but unusually for him there was a vocalist. Um, and uh, this guy had a great voice, yeah. Very, very kind of bluesy that one. That was good. Uh, after that, Passengers, original soundtracks one. And this is basically just a um, U2 album that they um, did along with Brian Eno and uh, also Pavarotti and Howie B and Holly. And uh, it's kind of about um, a soundtrack. Um, it's, these are kind of just like imaginary movies where they've done some soundtrack numbers for. And uh, the one that's really, really good on this is Miss Sar Sarajevo, which is which is just superb. Just um, Pavarotti, he sings the uh, he sings the um, operatic piece in it, and it's it's really good that one. Yeah. Um, there's some um, in Japanese, and. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of it's very very unusual this one though. Yeah. Okay, that one's original soundtracks one. After that, I listen to Steel Ice Span, Ten Man Mop, or Mr Reservoir Butler Rides Again, and that was a real kind of folky uh, thing there. That that was good. Not much not much drums, but. Um, banjo and fiddle, you know, on that. Okay, after that I listened to Redbone, Message from a Drum, and uh, in some countries it's also called The Witch Queen of New Orleans, and that's actually the big song off the album, Witch Queen of New Orleans, and uh, Redbone's um, four Native American guys, but yeah, very kind of funky, um, early 70s um, rock. That's that's quite good that one, yeah. That's the um, that's the third album from Redbone, that one, yeah. Okay, after that one, Glenn Kaiser, uh, Throw Down Your Crowns. This is a, uh, it's it's unusual for Glenn. He's he's actually the um, singer of the Resurrection Band, main, um, the main songwriter guitarist and singer but um, while that's very kind of hard rocking stuff this is very acoustic and um, very easy kind of listening worship music this one yeah so yeah I listened to that one then I listened to the I think I think it's the third album by Seals and Crofts Year of Sunday and uh, yeah that's very kind of um, acoustic, um, acoustic guitar, a lot of acoustic guitar, mandolin. Yep. Then I listened to "Go" by Paul Chambers, which is a uh, real jazzy uh, album, and uh, that one, that one was pretty good. Okay, after that, this one is "Binary" by Dave Sutton. And uh, yeah, this one is just great, okay. This album came out um, end of last year. And uh, it's pretty much like nothing else. This is a New Zealand uh, album. And 
after this, after releasing um, his album V in 2016. This is Dave's 2017 album Binary, and uh, it includes the epic Groovy, which is like nine minutes long. It um, it kind of continues on from the song Sunshine and Rain, but a very different kind of style. Yeah, a lot a lot of these songs were written um, kind of back in the nineties. Uh, there's one here, uh, LSD, The Pain Is On My Mind, and that um, one he actually wrote back in 1986, that one. So it's very it's very unusual. A, a lot of these ones actually have um, videos on YouTube as well. Yeah, so um, I, I would recommend that one. Check that out. It's great, yeah. Okay, after that, I listened to The Straubs. Grave New World, and this was um, after Rick Wakeman left. He he was on keyboards in that band, but then he left, and uh, they got a guy Blue Weaver to replace him. And um, Grave New World, that's that's a fantastic album. That one, yeah, it just um, it kind of all flows together. The songs are linked, and um, it just. Yeah, it, it sounds great that one. It's kind of it's kind of folky, um, yeah, but it's kind of proggy as well, prog folk. Yeah. Okay, after that one, um, Elvis Presley, "Loving You" by Elvis Presley, and that's one um, one of his early ones from nineteen fifty seven. Yeah, typ typical kind of Elvis of that period. Um, that um, Let Me Be Your Teddy Bear, it's a great song from that one. Okay, after that one, I listened to J.P. Morgan, Down South. Now, um, this one is kind of just um, songs about the American South. It's a bit of a, bit of a theme. She also did uh, another one, Up North, but this one's Down South, and... Uh, it's kind of a bit bit um, jazzy that one. Then I listened to um, Joni James, "The Mood Is Blue," and uh, that's one a very kind of jazzy, mellow um, one there. Yeah, a bit um, kind of slightly melancholic. And um, after that, I listened to Kenny Dorham, "Jazz Contrast." Now there's only um, there's only Oh, six tracks on this album. There's two on side one and four on side two, but the um, the ones on side one are pretty epic, yeah. It just goes all over the place. Um, yeah, I lo love that trumpet playing there on the, that one. It's, it's nice. Um, yeah, real, real jazz, that one. Okay, after that, I listen to Cliff Richard, The Young Ones. Now this one's the um, soundtrack to the movie, The Young Ones, and uh, it's kind of like half Cliff Richard, and um, it's got some um, instrumental ones from The Shadows. It's got some songs by some other people, like um, that No One For Me But Nicky. But the, uh, the real classic is the um, title track, The Young Ones. That's that's such a good um, sounding song. Yeah, that one's great. Okay, after that one I listened to um, This Time of Year by June Christie. And uh, that had that had, had a real um, Christmas theme, that one. Yeah, that was from 1961, I think. And uh, was real Christmassy, but not kind of like the usual um, Christmas songs that you hear. This one, oh, I think all the songs were written specially for it. Yeah, it, it was a very, um, very unusual kind of um, melancholic um, Christmas album, which was which was unusual. Okay, after that, the Rolling Stones, twelve times five. One of their early ones from 1964, I think, that one, yeah. And uh, 
It's got the great timers on my side. The one I really like, um, good times, bad times. And uh, it's all over now, those ones are all good, yeah. 12 times 5 by the Rolling Stones. And finally, I listened to Peggy Lee, If You Go by Peggy Lee. And that, that one was another um, um, very melancholic album, that one. It's all um, a lot of breakup songs and uh, very kind of sad and depressing, yeah. But um, yeah, nice, nice, easy listening one, yeah. And, uh, yep, that's it for this week's um, album review, weekly album review. I'm David, and uh, see you later. Bye.